Okay, so what do you do if your Nux 3 Tailwind uh, CSS is not updating, right? So this is the Nux 3 Tailwind starter kit, which you can get absolutely free if you just click the link in the description below. But we're gonna talk about what what you should do to try to figure out why your Nux 3 Tailwind starter, your, your, your your Tailwind CSS is not working in your Nux 3 app. All right, so where are we here? Um, this is it, right? So the first thing you want to do is to first check, have you installed Tailwind correctly? Okay, so let's go to the Nux 3 site. I'm just gonna Google search Nux 3 here. And uh, we just go to nux.com. When you go to nux.com, you go to the modules section here. In the modules section, you go to Tailwind. It's right here. You make sure you're on 3.x in in um, the version. So you 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 go to Tailwind, and this will show you how to install it correctly. Right? This module helps you set up Tailwind CSS version three. The next your application in seconds. So let's see what they have. For, it says zero configuration to start. So you don't need to configure anything, you know. So the first thing, this is a mistake here because look at it. It's so dark, you can't see, which is the. Uh, but I'm using yarn. If you're using NPM, you use that. So I already have it installed, but so just make sure you run that first, right? So I'm gonna do copy this should say, hey, you already have this installed. So make sure I want, okay, yeah. I'm sure actually here, I'm gonna close this, uh, clear the console, and we're gonna try and install this. See what it says. Wait, it's installing. Uh, okay, let's do that. Okay, so make sure you install it like that. Okay, after you install it, look at what it's saying here, right? Using default Tailwind CSS file from runtime Tailwind CSS. So that's a good thing. It says, hey, we have installed this. And when you look at this, this is all, all the work that it did. Type generate, okay, that, that's something else. And I'm, I'm actually in the wrong folder, but it doesn't matter. So let's go to the correct one here. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna do the same thing here. It's the same Nux 3, you know, it's just a different Nux 3 app. So you make sure you, you do that. Okay, that's gonna take a little while there. After you do that, you go back. I'm gonna close this one, the ghost wind. After you do that, you wanna go back there, I'm lost. The next thing, add Nux.js Tailwind CSS to the module section of your Nux config JS. You need to do this, right? Now this, just copy and paste all that. So you go to your Nux config, I mean the package.json, Nux config, like that, and you add your Tailwind CSS just like this. So this is what they gave you here, and this is what you would put up here. Okay, just the way it is, like this. After you do that, you should be good to go. <laughs> That's it, you can now use Tailwind classes in your Nox app. I'm gonna give you an another tip, right? Because this is just basic. Okay, so you run yarn dev. That's to start it to start your development server. You wait a little bit. It tells you here it's using default Tailwind CSS file from runtime Tailwind CSS. So this Tailwind viewer, this is a free page that you get that comes with Tailwind that will help you build your help you use the Tailwind classes correctly. So if you control click here or command click here, right? It will open up. This proves 
that Tailwind is running on your Nuxt app. All right. So if you can see this, then Tailwind is working correctly. And if we were to say, try and build some, something here. So let's go to, uh, let's go to a page. Let's go to the home page. And we're just going to create a header here. H1. Hello, friend. Like that. Is that the correct spelling of friend? I think so. And we say class background red uh, 200. See? So uh, refresh. Do we see anything here? Did I close? What did I do here? 3000. I'm on the wrong port. Come on. Where is my background? Did it work? I'm on the wrong. I'm on the right one, right? H1 class. Hello, friend. Home. Oh, home. Oh. It's stuck underneath the layout here. We won't be able to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna take this and take it to the content. Home content, I believe, is the component that we need, home content. Okay. And I'm just going to put this maybe right above here. Maybe right there. We should be able to see it now. There we go. Hello, friend. So that we know that Tailwind is working. If we change that to big background, I said big background blue, see it's working and it's updating. But what if even that, right, isn't working correctly after you've done that? Okay. So if you go to your package.json, don't change anything in here, right? You go to your package. JSON, you see that you have your dev dependencies and all that, that this is good here, right? You can run this script, this post install. I think it will help because it runs what happens after you install, you know, um, Nuxt. So let's just do that, right? We're going to stop the server here, clear the screen. So we go back to the top. We're just going to say yarn post install it's gonna run this next prepare okay and you just watch so we run next prepare see so it kind of does a reset and it recognizes that it's using the default tailwind css that might help you all right is all i'm saying that might help you if that still doesn't work what i would recommend is you just delete your nux your node modules here you know you can delete them and then run yarn again. So let's say, I guess I'm going to do, do this. Just delete, move to the recycle bin. I take a while, though I don't have very much here because there is a lot, the node modules. So you delete your node modules. I'm going to pause the video while this is taking place. Oh, continue. Well, if this doesn't work, <laughs> I guess I need administrator uh, permissions, but you delete your node mo modules and then you run yarn, right? Because yarn is going to install them again. I think this is still running. I don't want to mess things up. And then you run yarn that will reinstall them and then just go through the process again. You run yarn and then run yarn dev. That should help when if you're next three Tailwind uh, CSS classes are not, you know, if your app is not updating. All right. So just remember in the video below, already up to date, I guess that's what I'm In the video, be what is this doing? Okay. In the video, in, in the description below this video, you get yourself a free Nox 3 Tailwind starter kit. It's yours absolutely free to do whatever you want with it so let me see here so we are running here we got tailwind going and it's yours absolutely free do whatever you want with it this is the one that's starting right now
So in the description below, it comes with pages, comes with components, you know, and a custom plugin, all for you. Why is this not working? All right, I'm gonna, oh boy, my screen is blank now. <laughs> all right, guys, so hey, take care.